Secretary General reiterates his call for a peaceful, timely, and orderly transfer of power in full respect of the will of the Gambian people as expressed in the presidential election. Today, Gambia on edge. Will this autocratic leader accept democratic defeat from this new one? I'm Femi O.K. and you're in the stream. I will never rule this country without your mandate since we started elections. And I will never cheat or dispute the elections because this is the most transparent rig-proof elections in the whole world. Gambia was poised for its first democratic transition in decades when President Yahya Jammeh conceded the national elections he lost earlier this month. Gambians who opposed his rule took to the streets in celebration. We are happy and we know that we are going to rule the Gambia what they expected from us. We have democracy, new developments, everybody will be free movement, free, you know, anything free, everything free. And we expect so many international people to come, all the Gambian who are in exile, so that they can come and develop in their own country. But just one week later, Jame changed his mind. I hereby announce to you, Gambians, my total rejection of the election results and thereby annulling the elections in its entirety. We will go back to the polls because I want to make sure that every Gambian has voted. Jame has contested the vote in court and sent soldiers to raid Gambia's electoral commission. The winning candidate, Adam Abaro, has urged him to stand down. The outgoing president has no constitutional authority to reject the result of the election and order for fresh election to be held. I urge him to change his current position and accept the verdict of the people in good faith for the sake of the Gambia, our homeland. Even before losing to Burrow, Jame cracked down on his supporters. Dozens of activists were arrested after mass protests erupted in April and at least two of them died in custody. Human rights groups have accused Jame of using repression to maintain the power he seized in a coup 22 years ago. Here to discuss the current crisis in Gambia, Denis Ferretia, he's an Africa analyst and commentator. Fatou Kamara is a journalist and former press secretary to Gambian President Jame. Sharif Bojeng Jr. is a journalist with West Africa Democracy Radio. And Samsudin Saar is Gambia's Deputy Ambassador to the United Nations. Welcome, everybody. Let me show you something here online. This is Suffragette. I'm confused. Hasn't he already conceded? He just wants a way out. Truth is, Gambians have had enough and he needs to step down. That conf confusion, Samsudin. Are you also confused? Or can you enlighten us as to why a president would concede and then change his mind. That's, that's, the, that's the number one question I was expecting. And in fact, I think that's going to be, my, that's going to be the focal issue here. Oh. And that is what is missing in the narrative of why he changed his mind. Because something happened. On the, first of, on the 2nd of December, when the election results were read, we all know that the, it was on TV with the chairman of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Njai, reading the numbers, showing that Barrow, the, the winner, has won the election with over 263,000 votes, while Jame had 212,000 votes plus, uh -huh. and Mama Kande, the third candidate, had about 102,000 votes. Uh -huh. So you're basically saying, all, I mean, so you're basically conceded. saying, Samson, that the 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 president conceded on the election commission, saying, "Okay, you have lost. Here are the numbers," uh, and then they made a mistake. He conceded; it was all accepted mm -hmm. three days after. Yeah, he did not come to the uh, to the TV as such. He shadily, in a sneaky way, called back representatives of the parties at his office and gave them letters saying that there were mistakes in the counting and instead of the difference which was 50, 51,000 votes yeah. that um, um, Barrow had won him with, 
it had reduced to something like 18,000. Numbers changed from 263,000 for Barrow to about 200, 227,000. And the margin narrowed to about 18,000. Come right. on. If I were, if so I were, let, me, let, if let I, me just bring, let me just bring that to everybody else's attention. Okay, so Sharif, uh, the margin of the win narrowed dramatically, and you say what? Well, I don't think this is um, an, an excuse that will especially warrant for a press election. I mean, the IEC admitted that there was um, a, a, a problem with coalition, with the counting, not the voting process, and they rectified that immediately. As soon as they are aware of that, they rectified that. It affected Barrow, it affected um, um, Jame as well as Mama Kande. So I don't see this noise about, you know, the margins where, you know, the margins have changed and things like that. I think the problem with, you know, Jame, and I would say some to you too is that you guys think that the clock started ticking the day Jamel lost the election but this is not the case we have had problems before in like Jame the, the screen the, the image and the statement of Jame that we had in front of us at the beginning saying that he wanted to make sure that every Gambian had voted remember that if we take a quick trip down memory lane Sam in 2006 over, I mean, 300,000 people didn't vote. Voters almost didn't vote. In 2011, over 100,000 people didn't vote. Where was Jame? Jame won in both elections. Some people like you went out to the street to celebrate, to jubilate. He was a good man. He was voted by his people. Now that he lost the election that he organized, he single-handedly, some you know, international observers not allowed in or they stayed away. You won this election. You are the referee. You are there by yourself. The only party that was represented in all the single polling stations in the country, you lost the election. Now you come here and cry foul to sell that agenda to the people i think is so embarrassing and it's ridiculous i'm just wondering dennis the surprise i think for people who are watching from the outside was was that jame lost the election the fifth one he won five elections in a row he's been leader for 22 years how do you lose a fifth election what happened well i think uh, jame jame suffered from the problems that a lot of dictators especially african dictators um, have one is they 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 believe too much in their popularity and for once, um, Jame made a mistake, which in my perspective is a very good mistake he made. He tried to do, to organize an election transparently, allowing the results to be tabulated in the local regions. So you're saying that was a mistake? Big mistake for him. And <laughs> or was he, it democracy? Well, it was democracy uh -huh. for, for, for dictators. That's, that's not how they do it. We know that from Cameroon, they actually make sure that the results are counted in a particular location where they can tamper with the votes. Right. But the fact of the matter is the Gambians have spoken. More than 65% of Gambians voted against President Jami. The sun has shifted underneath him. He has to go. And I don't see any way out for Jami except stepping down. Um, he, you know, everything is closing around him. He really has no options but to step down. Fatih, let me just show everybody a picture of you working with Jame. You were his press secretary for not that long, but probably long enough to maybe understand his mindset right now. How do you think he's dealing with this issue of, is he president? Is he not going to be president next year? What do you think he's thinking? Well, I think this uh, is very, very shocking for Jame because this is a guy who believes that everybody in the Gambia loves him. So until now, he's in denial, especially when he went on television saying, oh, I still have questions about why 300,000 people did not vote. Uh, what he missed there is that people like us, we all have our voters card, but he exiled us. So I think if you ask me, I would say right now, the man is in denial. And it has always been like this. The Gambian people, uh, since many years ago, started to lose confidence in Jame. Uh, but like Dennis said, he, uh, because of the elections, the way that the elections were held, we all know he's been rigging elections. But when he came out with this counting on the spot, the truth came out. Let me show you something here. A visit by West African leaders to get Gambia's defeated president to step down did not go uh, quite thanks, as planned. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yes, Sam, let me, just, let me just show this picture here because it was pretty impressive. The heads of state from uh, many, many countries across uh, the ECOWAS region. And then let me show you here. PRT says this was a failure in tour de force neighborhood diplomacy. What's the diplomacy that's going on behind the scenes, Sam? Apparently, I can't... I, I, uh, the I think the, the, the guys here are just there for fact-finding. They were there for fact-finding machine. But I want to uh -huh. talk about something a little more related to what we're talking about now. And that is um, uh, 
you in your presentation in your introduction you talk about the demonstration that happened in april right and uh, the the april demonstration came out of efforts being made in 2014 by people in the diaspora here who have been in the past two three years aggressively trying to undermine the stability of the country they bought almost 240,000 dollars worth of weapons and sent that's according to who? into the gambia according to, to, to you. attack to attack hmm. the excuse me to attack the country because they look, said look the we are here the some some you cannot hold those can funds never and, be and fair in the country that was it they say the electoral commission belongs to jamie he he owns it no uh Sam, if I can just come in so, so they attack the country it failed no. in fact most of them are now no. serving in in american jails because of no. the so Sam, no. Sam, Sam, because of our because of our limited Samson and Sharif, because of our because of our limited time that we have it. together, uh, I, I want to focus on what what do we do now? Because we're in a crisis right now. So oh, yeah, we we the really, crisis evolved. <coughs> yeah. Crisis evolved because after that. So let me, so, so I'm, uh, but Samson, I'm not going to walk through every moment since April. I'm going to bring us up to date right now. Fatu, what do you want it to add? Sam, Sam, let me come. I, I do. I, under, I understand that, Fatu, but we only have because so much time. What happened in April? Everybody was saying that, in fact, the. So, what's going to happen yeah. now? Yeah. All right, okay. Fatu, okay. come into the conversation. Fatu, Sam, hold tight for a moment. Yes. Ham, just, Sam, hold tight for a moment. I, I hear you. There. Fatu, go ahead. I, th I, think, I think he's mixing a whole lot of things that are definitely not related. And, okay. and like I said, let's talk, okay. about, let's talk about now. What happened oh. is Gambians oh. cannot wait for this dictator to go because we have suffered enough. And what happened right here is when he considered defeat, people started coming out in the streets and everyone was happy. Can you imagine people that I could not talk to for three years because they were avoiding to talk to people like us in the diaspora because they could get arrested. So these people, we spent hours and hours with them on the phone. Jammer got mad with the freedom that the Gambian people have started to get and he decided to come in thinking that he still has that control, which he didn't realize that there is no way that he can return Gambians to dictatorship. Do you have radio show that has been going on for the past years where you talk to Gambians every day, I listen to it, and you and have been inciting violence and in that some, country. And and some 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 that your brother-in-law, your brother-in-law, mm -hmm. who is now serving jail, in, in, in America here, played a part in trying to attack the Gambia. So let me just say for everybody who's watching, who's trying to keep up with this conversation, Fatu uh, so does have an opposition radio panel. show. Uh, Sa Sam, hold on for a, for a moment, just so I can explain to everybody. Uh, uh, Fatu, you do have an opposition radio show, which is what Sam is referring to. Denise, what yeah. did you want to add? Well, so you were asking a question about where does Gambia go from here and what happens. Mm -hmm. And you know, you saw the, the um, ECOWAS leaders um, in Gambia to, to talk some sense into President Jame. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is Jame has no way out. I think the reason why he's... I um, think you are making a great mistake oh, in making that I, statement. I understand. Um, Jame the, has a way out. Uh, I, I know he has a way what out. The, the way, way out? The way out Sam, may what not, is the way out? You sound very the way out may not be in, in Gambia. Because I don't know where you're coming from with your negative statements. You know, because Sam, you know, it's because of attitude like us. If you want it's because to listen of attitude to this, like us. So Sharif and Fatu, hold, hold tight for a moment. I know you've all got comments to make. Just hold tight for a moment. I can hear you all. Because I know everything you're saying is critical. No way out. Why? No way out. Why? Because um, the mistake that he made, which is a very good mistake he made, was actually accepting the results. When you accept the result, you actually give the Gambians a voice. And the Gambians have found a if voice. The, if there, the is no way, the stage, there is no way he's going to can that the voice. Of the the Gambians stage, will not accept. If I you look at it, the civil society in Gambia has stood up. Oh, a lot of folks, right. people in the universities, are standing up against Jami. Uh -huh. What the ECOWAS leaders are doing are actually just trying to be very friendly to him. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the sun has shifted under Jame. Jame has no true. role. I think, I think the opposition with Baru, you know, <laughs> people like, people like Jame know. understand it's one true. thing. They understand power. They understand strength. You know, I was very, very pleased when, when Baro made a statement today, offered an olive branch to the president, saying, you know what, I will not prosecute President Jame. President Jame can stay in the country if he chooses to. You know, the, other, the former president lives in the country. I will not prosecute him. But at the same time, 
I would come January 18, if he does not step down in power, I would be president. And that, Femi, is what is going to make a difference. And I think, to go one, one step further, President-elect Barrow and his team need to actually show Jami that they are serious for business. And that means they have to do a couple of things, in my opinion. They have to and start nominating their, their cabinet. Right. They have to do uh, things like actually start appointing, nominating folks who are going to be representing so them So they need abroad. to get on with their transition. Let me just they go back to, to and, Sam. And, and, because, and, and, because fa 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 hold tight for a moment, because I, I want to keep okay. ping-ponging back to Sam, because okay. Sam is the voice of uh, President Jame right now. Sam, why do you think that this is a condesc the condescending uh, point of view? Why do you think that Jame has options? What are the options? Tell because, us. you see, all these re so-called reporters running around trying to be experts over this issue do not talk about the fact that Jame readily accepted the results day one. And he talked to the whole world and even said, talk about going to the farm. So, Sam, to, tell us about the but, options. But he, tell us, tell us about the, the options. What options does he have? When the electoral reform came back and said, yes, the numbers have we've changed talked about that. Sam, take us forward. What are the options? What are the options of, yes. uh, of apparently? What, what are his options? His options are he, he, has, he, he doesn't accept the results because the results look huh. illegitimate. And because, I mean, and like, so what? the original statement, the original numbers changed so badly that he You're went to look at the investigations. You're repeating yourself. What take us forward, forward exactly. Sam? You're repeating investigations yourself. What happens next? And some very terrible anomalies were found which are going to be yes, presented so what to the courts. Where does and, uh, go okay. and he's not going to accept can I, can I That's come the in? Line. All right, can so gentlemen, in? hold tight for a moment, because we, we, we have okay. a, so, uh, Sam's like, the president's not going to accept. Sharif is, so what, now? Fatou, what do you want to add? Okay, the, in the first place, when he said uh, the so-called reporters, this, the so-called reporters are no, the I, one I, president I'm sorry about had. That. I'm sorry, I'm uh, sorry about yeah, yeah, I'm no, sorry no, about that. I'm sorry about that. I'm talking about the... That yeah, so-called expert then is coming from nowhere okay. and doesn't okay. know what's okay. happening no, in okay. the Gambia. That's yeah, you fine. have to. Right. Sam, 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 this is the problem. Gentlemen, Sam and, and Sharif, Gambia. just yeah, give me a moment. To... Just give me a pause for a moment, yeah. just so I can hear you. Yeah, Fatu, okay. doesn't know what the heck is yeah, going so on in the Gambia. So what I was trying to say is I served as President Yamis press secretary on two occasions, and what happened at the end, I was sent to prison for 25 days, and I had to leave my kids behind. I was not even allowed to say goodbye to my kids or goodnight to my kids. And what Sam is talking about inciting violence, the Fatu network is very, very credible network that works with international organizations. We had many meetings with, uh, with experts here in the United States. Sam is the one who incites violence, because if you could remember when the protests happened in April, a. Sam said if he was there and he was in charge, he was going to shoot peaceful protesters. Yeah, we have but never we are advocated for that. Yes. I'm going to I'm get us all to take down. a pause for a moment. And Sam and Batu, just give me a moment for um, give me a moment because I want to bring in some other voices here, as if we need some more voices. Okay, this is Sabrina Martani. Sabrina was in the Gambia quite recently. She talks about what a lot of people talk about with the Gambia: human rights abuses. Have a listen to what she wanted to add to our conversation. Um, we've documented uh, several human rights violations that have occurred during President Jammeh's re regime. It was a regime that was run on a climate of fear where people would be afraid of being arbitrarily arrested or tortured if they spoke out against the president or the government or even were just perceived to be an opponent. I was in Gambia um, and in court when Lawyer Darbo and several other political prisoners uh, were freed. This was a really joyful moment and people sang the national anthem and shouted freedom. Sam, there's another headline I want to show to you. This is from Human Rights Watch. Gambia, two decades of fear and repression. I'm wondering if for Gambians, they're just ready for a change. They're ready for something different. It's been 22 years. Could you accept that? Could President Jame accept that? Is that for me? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Sam. Yes, yes. He can accept that. He can accept that. But you see, like, there is a, there is a, there is, Jame, Gambia is just a small nation that's being targeted by the West. Jame is the part leader who doesn't encourage foreign dominance. It started a long time ago. We were, I was in the army. I was the army commander before I turned out to be where I am today. Before that, mm -hmm. Gambia was so bad, the government there invited foreign leaders, foreign military officers to come and command the army because the army was nothing. When they sent us for peacekeeping and we died there, 
they say they will not even bring us back home for burial because soldiers were nothing. When Jame took over, he gave me the responsibility to fly to Ni Liberia to bring all the dead soldiers who that were abandoned there and brought them home for burial. So while we're reminiscing, Sam, let me show you, play you something. Sam, let me, now, let me, let, Sam, Sam, let me, show, let me play you this from the, the Guardian because this really struck me. This is this is rewinding 22 years. Have a listen to this. We have no plans to stay alone. All we are here for is to set a, a just system and to put up structures that will ensure that. What happened in the past 10, uh, 30 years would never happen again. It's a very young President Jame there, Sharif. Uh, what happened? What happened in those 22 what, years what, what, that yes, now he's fighting? Evolved. Sharif. Evolved. Sharif. Evolved. Yes, Sam, I hear that. Sam, I hear that. You, you have one note in your, in your debate. So let me just listen in to Sharif. Sharif. I think it's the tappings of power. We seen when Jame came, I was younger, you know, in the Gambia, but when Jame came, you know, to power in 1994, a lot of us embraced it. We looked for change. We knew what we had was not working the way we wanted it to work. And we looked for change. When he came, he pretended to be the promised Messiah and we embraced him. But it didn't take long when things changed. Sam himself, talking about being in the army, he went to jail. What were you in jail for? What did you go to jail for? Maybe, you know, so a lot of things changed. The people went to jail and things, and then eventually from one step to the other we ended up having this can you so can you show some respect for once and listen to me please i can understand when you 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 know you are a diploma you have a very good job when you're about to lose your job you know to a new regime you can be a bit emotional i understand that I and i forgive you but please let me complete let me yeah, let me yeah, complete yeah, so, so we, we, we move Sharif, let, let's have a listen to sam it's important to hear that voice of the, the it's not about money. of the president too in this conversation america here why did okay, you so go to jail? Why did Jame no, send you to jail? No, 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 no. That was coup d'etat. That was coup d'etat. Yes, give me, a, give, me a give me a moment. Give me a pause for a moment. Give me a pause for a moment. Can I just come in there? Uh, Fatu, hold tight for a moment. Uh, Dennis, what is happening here? We have uh, Gambians, all Gambians here. Uh, Fatu, Sharif, Samson. They're, Samsudin, they're all fighting amongst each other. Um, I'm wondering who's the loser here. Well, you know, the, the, I know who the winner is. Mm. They are the winners. The entire Gambian people are the winners. Right. Um, because, you know, as um, in 1994, when, when um, President Jame came into power, everybody was happy about it. It's 22 years after that, you know, there are positives and negatives. A lot of people look at it and say there are lots of negatives. But right now, what the Gambians are facing is what, uh, what future they are going to, to, uh, to, uh, um, to have for themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's that quest about, is this, is this when they're going to have their democracy? Is this a period which is going to be reminiscent to 1992 in Ghana or 1999 in, in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. You know, the one thing about Gambia and the problem that, that um, Yaya Jame faces is that of geography. Unfortunately for him, his neighbors right now do not tolerate, you know, coups like this. It's just unfortunate. If Jame was in Cameroon in Central Africa, mm -hmm. he would have a, an easier way. But unfortunately for him, he's not going to be hanging out you with... You might be getting ahead of yourself. It's, no, not, no. It's, not, it's not a coup. No, is, no it's not the coup. Let me finish. We're right at the end let of the show, so no, you're, you're, finish. you're finishing yes. is in, in a sentence. Go yes. ahead. So uh, uh, he, the leaders around him, the leaders around him are all going to be looking for things to move forward mm -hmm. and they will not tolerate you know the right. situation there okay we have that not is, finished is, by any is, sense of the word me. sam we're right um, at the let, end let of the show that. sam i will yeah, uh, but i'm going to take you online fatu to sharif yeah. sam yeah. and dennis i have to take you online um and i'm i know everybody watching will be going online as well because they will be on the edge of their seat to hear where the debate is going to next let me show you something here from miss petit she says he needs to respect the will of the people and step down. No conditions. People have honestly had it with him. Do you have another point of view you want to share? You want to add to our debate? Hashtag AJ Stream. We will be on the online post show. You know it'll be feisty. You know it'll be loud. Stream.outazir.com. See you there. Thanks for watching, everybody.
Hello again, welcome to our online post show. Guess I asked for a really great African debate and I got it. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> Batu, you've been trying to add something, go ahead. Yes, I just wanted to talk to uh, Sam. We know that Sam was arrested in the Gambia, just like uh, a sheriff said, and then he went totally against President Yame. He even wrote a book where he came out, and um, after the people bought the book, he came out when he reconciled with President Yame and said everything that was in the book was a lie. Uh, I did so not say that you say, are lying. That's not a true. That's no, not no, no, no. Yes, you said that. that. You said that. I did not you said say that. that. The I did not. The president, I did the president, not. you said that. All right, Fatu, hold on a minute, and Sam. I just said that I, and, I was no, a little no, emotional in the way I wrote the book, no, and I said, could have written no. it differently, no, but Fatu, I didn't say you that. have to. Fatu. Sam is right here. If Fatu, Sam says he didn't say it, let's go with that. Can you say this? Can you say this? And it is not as you are trying to present it. Can you let me Whoa. land? Can you let me land? You wrote that book when President Yame pardoned you. You did said you everything that was in that book. Okay, let me finish. President Yame came back to you. Well, listen. And Sam, you finish. read the book. Time you know that, that I did not Let me finish that line. Let me Yame land. That book. President oh, Yame came out. President Yame came out when he, when, he, uh, when he pardoned you. He said on television that including that one that wrote a book that's a pack of lies. That's exactly what he I said. Agree. And it's in the record. I agree. Yes. Because... Yeah, so you, you, you can you take right, over. Yes, hold tight for a moment. I can't but hear you. I do not understand Everybody the point that you made, Fatu. Sam, hold tight yeah. for a moment. I'm just going to move on because you're all yelling and I actually don't know what you yes. said. I'm sorry. All right. Yes. And I want to comment. I, yeah, sure. Yeah, I want to comment here. I mean, yes, not Gambians will be watching. And I think the essence of this program is to move on and how to get the Gambia out of this mess. Mm -hmm. We've had 22 years of a dictatorial regime characterized by all sorts of brutalities. And, you know, the Gambia, a lot of things happen in the Gambia, you know, over the last 22 years. What is going to happen is that we have a government, you know, a president, incoming president, voted for by the Gambian people, and he's going to take over the country. And the priorities for him and for the Gambia from now on is to sort out all the mess created by Jami. You know, we have reforms. We have the constitutional reforms. We have to look after the, the, the security issues. We have to look at the, you know, economic issues of the country. Whether, you know, some agrees or not, this is what matters to the Gambian people. We have to move on. This thing, this, um, the political deadlock might go on for a few days or weeks, but it's not sustainable. At the end, it will have to stop. And Adam Abaro will have to take over the country and we'll have to move on to okay. make the lives of Gambians better than it has been over the past 22 years. So Fatu and Shuri, yeah. Sharif and Dennis, I, I, I hear you all coming from this same perspective. What I'm not getting is clarity from Sam as to what will President Jame actually do? What intelligence do you have about his position? Because he doesn't have, have anything. Fatu, hold say. tight, hold tight. Okay. What can he do in the next few weeks? He has to do it before January the 18th, correct? Now, uh, he, has, he has already put his position clearly to the people that he is, he is not accepting these numbers because the IEC changed the numbers. And what does that mean, Sam? Not accepting the numbers. Does considered. that mean that he will we not step down? Huh? What's, what's yeah, the, what, but what what's the solution? Is, there, is, there are all these threats, and that's why I don't like the statement being made by Dennis talking about the global, the, the surrounding countries. So, so Sam, that's what, like I was, that's what I tried to move on from. I just wanted clarity, just, just me, clarity, and, and probably the viewers as well. So what does the president do now? He's not accepting, he look, and then what does that actually mean? Spell it out for us. We're going to go back to elections again. What? We're, oh, oh, no. You oh, are not, that happen. is, uh, that's no. not true. In your that's dreams, you always keep, no. keep no. dreaming. That's what, keep that's, dreaming. That's, excuse me, excuse me. That's the what Gambians he said. have spoken. But, the but what I'm going to tell you is that. What I'm going to tell you is that. If you, these people are inciting all these things, talking about, yes, we're going to, countries are going to look into military intervention, all this Please don't even go there, because if you try to break that country with a military intervention, you might turn it into another Libya or another Iraq or well, that's another. Not gonna happen, it's Sam. not going to happen. That yeah, but that's not, you know, you don't have. So Fatu and Sharif, there were a couple of comments Gambia that came in from our online community. Oh, oh, would you, would you just yeah, allow me? Would you allow me thirty seconds just to put them to Sam, because people watching your conversation uh, um, have questions as well. Sam, here's one. Uh, this is from Mandig Mori, and Mandig Mori says, the problem is, though, nobody has time for fresh polls. Sam? Is that a problem? Is nobody what? has time for fresh polls. Like going yeah, that's his opinion. That's his opinion. What is, going to, what is happening on the ground is evolving as time goes on. Oh. I mean, like, nobody's going to force this government out of power like that. 
because it's, it's go. not going to happen. That's that's what I'm going to say. All right. Now, if you think it's going to happen, you 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 just in a dream world. Okay. Femi, 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 can I come in here? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go, since go ahead, some, sure. some, 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 um, since the Jamie's problem, since your problem is not about the registration process or things like that, the problem is collation. What about would you settle for recount of votes instead of fresh election? Because if you now the 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 the, um, the IEC really disappointed me. Because up no, to the you last don't day answer. You are not election. answering my question. Up to the last Will day you settle election. for re the online radios, including that of Fatu, was telling the Gambians All right, that so if Sam, they no, you, Sam, if let's, let's, not, let's, let's try this again. Question, if they don't answer my Sam, question, Sam, oh, let's you try answer this. my question. Right, Sam, I <laughs> came back to so so. Can you answer my question? Stand up for a moment. It's a very good question. I'm going to try and get you an answer. Hold, hold tight, everybody. Sam, Sam, hold, hold tight here a moment. Sam actually sent us this press release, uh, and, and very valid to our conversation. Error in the total of final election results. So the, the uh, election uh, office was saying, yeah, actually, we did make a mistake. Here are the actual votes. Barrow Adama, still winning. Jame, second. And Kande Mama came in third. This is yeah. their recalculated votes. So Sheriff said... Would you accept a recount, Sam? That that's kind of a yes or now, no now, now, question. Now listen, right? can you oh, can Sam. you imagine? Can you imagine with all the jubilation and everything? If this guy had counted the votes and saw the error and realized that Jame has won, or it is a draw, you think he would come out and announce it and people accept it? That would have been chaos yeah, around you, the world. Sam, Sam, so I, I think have, what you all want to do. Answering the question, can you answer the question? Would you settle for recount? Sheriff, let me say this: since he doesn't know what to answer the question, something that was what they want to do. All right, Sheriff and Fatty and Sam. Just get everybody. Everybody, just give me a pause. Everybody, just give me a pause for a moment. Everybody, give me a pause. Just everybody, hold tight for a moment. This is a very good question because at the moment we don't have clarity as to what President Jame might do. So the recount question, let's go back to it one more time. Sam, it, it's kind of a yes or a no. Would the president accept a recount? Um, uh, it's possible. It's possible um, because uh -oh. I'm not there. No. He, he is the, he is, I'm just representing okay. him here, but Sam, I don't know. Can I say this? Sam, can I just say this? Yeah, not. Jame but would not want a recount. Is, Let me tell you what IEC, he would do. What he wants to do IEC is to have first so, elections and bring people who would ring for him. Point, that's what he yeah, wants, I, and that's not going to happen. Yeah, just, All right, this, this has been invigorating. <laughs> she says euphemistically. Uh, Fatu, Sharif, uh, Samsudan, um, it's been very invigorating. I, I'm, I'm sure conversations like this are happening all over the Gambia. If we just stand back a little bit more, I, I want to go back to this incredible picture we had of these African heads of state all sitting around with President Jame having a chat. Uh, if we look at the big picture for, let's just say West Africa, ECOWAS, mm -hmm. let's not say the entire continent, because that's yeah. way too big. Yeah. What does this, this moment mean from your perspective? Well, from my perspective, uh, you know, it, it's actually a test moment for ECOWAS, but actually it's a moment that they've, they've dealt with before. So they, it's actually an opportunity for them to build on their democracy uh, um, strategy for ECOWAS. It's an opportunity. Real, uh, Sam, give me a minute. Up. Sam, give me a minute. It's an oh, opportunity yeah, for them to, to build on their democracy. Oh. The heads yeah, of state and government in ECOWAS a while, a while ago oh. understood that, you know, economic development in ECOWAS region will not be possible without peace and security. Mm. And they've, and they've, across the many years, more than a decade, have made sure that they would uphold that. Sam just called you a pseudo-intellectual. No, that's okay. You know, I, 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 I don't want to brag about anything, but that's fine. Exactly. It, 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 it's okay to do that. You go to, you you know. get to no, it, Egypt it, it, and tell it, Susi it, to step it, down because it, it, the, it, the Muslim Brotherhood won the election there. So and guess, you know, because of national security. Guess this, is, this has been Sam, enlightening. Sam. Uh, if a little noisy. Well, I would just like one sentence for everybody predicting what will happen at the end of January. Where do you think the Gambia will be? In a sentence, Fatu. We're moving forward and Jamme is going to be out of power. That I can tell you right now. Gambians have spoken and we have spoken well. Sharif, the end of January, take us to that. What would you say, what would your analysis be for the end of January? We will have His Excellency President Adam Abaro, and then I will have the opportunity to go home and be with our president, and Gambia okay. will sign once again, and Jamil's memory will be erased from my head. 
Samsudin, the Thanks. end of January, what, what do you predict will be the actual outcome of this uh, I crisis? I campaigning for the United States of America to start shutting down all these inciting radio stations that have been creating <laughs> turbulence in the Gambia. In the Maybe same you'll pack up to go home to too. <laughs> you might want to pack up to go home. Yes. Well, well, Sam, well, you've Sam, been away so long. You want to go? Home? Sam, we have to, we have to stop him from writing books as well. We have to stop him from writing books because he can't oh, write. I will write. write I will write. I will continue writing. I, I love to write and I know how to write. Yeah. I will continue meet, to write. Meet me, meet me, meet me in Conakry right. part two. I cannot yeah. wait for that. Meet me in yeah, Conakry meet me part Konakri. two. It's coming back. The second person. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I'm glad everybody's but laughing. Sam, I, I feel that everyone's <laughs> laughing. This is a good time to Sam, stop Demi, the show. Demi, I, have, yes. I have one question. No, enough Demi, with your questions. Question? No, no, <laughs> that will be a no. <laughs> Okay, my brothers, my sister, thank you. It's been invigorating. I'm going to lie down. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care.